It is now 10 seasons of Coop. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I really am fascinated to know, like, wh when you started the show, because you've known Larry since, like, 1985, I think it is. Yeah, around then. Right, you, yeah. you, you, you went stand-up together, you right. shared stories your whole life. That's why, I guess, your chemistry is so good on screen. Did you ever think that the show would become the institution that it's become? Absolutely not. When we first started the show, we had no budget. We, we had no trailers. We had no... We, we had, like, porta-potties. We had no, <laughs> no dressing rooms. It was this slapdash kind of... It was kind of like, I got a barn, let's put on a show kind right, of a right, show. Right. And we never knew from year to year if we were coming back. It was just... The fact that it's 20 years later, we started in 2000. Wow. 20 years later and 10 seasons is amazing. It's amazing. I, I and remember. It's, and it's the greatest job ever. What makes it the greatest job for you? Well, for me, I show up. I, I'm with all my <laughs> friends, you know. I tell everybody to go f themselves. <laughs> then they give me money and I go home. Sounds like a great, <laughs> that sounds like an amazing job. They love me for it. Right. You know, so, but, but also, it's just, I mean, we have so much fun. We laugh all day long. It feels like that kind of show. And, and, you know, people always talk about how Curb is created, how, you know, the show is put together and you have a framework of what's going to happen, but nobody knows no how you're script. gonna get there and there's yeah. no script. Like, do, do you ever get used to that? Yeah, I'm totally used to it. That's just yeah. the world now. Oh, yeah. I mean, when I have a script, that feels odd to me. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, improvising. We know our characters so well. We know our oh, relationships right, so right, well. Right. We And the scene is set out. I mean, it's not this willy-nilly thing. I mean, we know exactly what has to happen in each scene. So we're just... It's like what you and I are doing right now. We don't have a script. Yes, but I mean... But we're not trying to, like, get somewhere specific. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's the, Yeah, like, we're there's trying no, like, to get episode. to the end of the segment, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but... True, but, it's, but it has to tie up. Like, Curb, that's what I love about Curb Enthusiasm. Every episode yeah. ties every that's little Larry. moment. That's Larry's brain. That's right. Larry's it is, genius. It is genius, but yeah. every moment ties into something. You don't know what's going to tie into the end of the story, and that becomes, like, an arc that takes And then you it'll through. come back. Exactly. And then it'll come back, yeah. You, you've also developed a chemistry on the show with each other. Like, what I love about Curb is how differently each character acts with another character. Does that just come naturally, or is it, or is it who you are? Um, I, I think that, it, you know, I think that over the years we've developed kind of a dialogue of the unconscious, if I may be deep. Uh, I, I think deep. we don't, like, Larry and I have never discussed our relationship or my character, ever. And we, we never discussed it. We just kind of had this trust and respect, which you have to have when you're improvising. Right. And it just developed, all of us. We, we have this little family. That, that we work so well together. It's really fun. It, 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 it really feels like a family. It looks like a family. I mean, it, it's a very dysfunctional family, but yes, a family well, nonetheless. What family is not dysfunctional? That's true. That is true. <laughs> uh, one, one, that's why, you know, I, I was so happy that you came to the show, because originally, J.B. Smoove was supposed to be on the show, and then he's on a production, uh, The Last OG, and then he couldn't make it, and he was like, I was like, but I want to have someone. I love Kirby Enthusiasm, and I'm glad you came, because so you really amazing. wanted J.B., is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm saying... No, no I'm saying, like, because I thought JB was coming, and I didn't know and how it this was, would go. But I'm not JB. No, you, but you, but you, sometimes second choice is, like ends up being the oh, best. Oh, there choice. you go. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just saying, like Will Smith was supposed to be Neo in the Matrix. Then we got Keanu Reeves, and he's perfect. You, my Keanu Reeves. <laughs> there you go. You, you, know, <laughs> you know what? You know what? Curb Your Enthusiasm returns for its tenth season, January nineteenth at ten thirty yes. p.m. on HBO. Susie Ashman, everybody. Yes. 